After two days of competition, the 2020 Special Olympics New Jersey Winter Games has come to another successful end here at the Mountain Creek Resort in Vernon Township. It's been a great, um, great two days. We have 300 athletes here uh, competing in uh, sports from alpine skiing, snowshoeing, uh, snowboarding, uh, cross-country skiing, and speed skating. And uh, the Vernon Valley area always opens their hearts and their doors to us for these couple of days. And, and we've been here for 40 years competing in this event. And uh, so it's just great. And, 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 you know, you can see the smile on the faces of the athletes when they receive their medals and compete to the best of their ability. But you also see the smiles uh, of the family members um, and the volunteers that are here. And it's just a great, positive, beautiful, feel-good feeling here for the last two days. Of course, while competing and winning is the goal at all Special Olympics events, making friends is also an added bonus. Oh, it's fun. What was the best part about the last two days for you? For me is to have fun with my friends and and I work at Mount Creek. They were supporting me for the Special Olympics. Obviously, you make a lot of friends doing this, right? How, uh, you, it looks like you and Kyle are pretty good friends. You guys good friends? Yeah. We knew each other for a while, actually. And how long have you been competing with him and against him? Uh, against him since last year. Okay. Is he good? He's good. Who's I beat Oh, me. Because I beat him by one-tenth of a second last year. <laughs> now, for those of you not familiar with the Special Olympics, it is a year-round thing, and many of these athletes who competed here in the Winter Games will also participate in the Spring Games and the Summer Games. Those Summer Games, by the way, will take place the first week in June at the College of New Jersey. In Vernon Township, I'm Phil Andrews, New Jersey News Network.